Again, we are back live. I'm going to give the number out. We're going to take your calls and cover a ton of news in the next hour. We have so much I haven't even gotten to. But let me get back to the top story that's up at PrisonPlanet.com and Infowars.com. And the best place to find it is red linked on the right-hand side of DrudgeReport.com. Report Homeland Security has exercises where they, quote, target free Americans against socialist Tyranny is the headline. Now, if you go to the homeschool drills that they've had at public schools, they tell them, we're homeschoolers against public education and we're here to kill you. Or we're pro-gun groups and we're here to kill you. In fact, I'm going to have Watson add all those examples to his article to show people it's part of a larger compendium of where they have these school shooting drills, federally funded from Texas to Michigan, from California to Florida, we've seen it in just every major state. Uh, Minnesota, they've lost lawsuits up there where unannounced at the elementary, they come in with guys dressed like militia and march everybody outside and say, we don't like public school and you're all dead. And then they blow up a bus with a firebomb. I had the lawyer on. This was on the news in Minnesota. And then they get the, the teachers down on their knees with the kids and the kids are literally urinating, defecating all over themselves. This is in the lawsuits. I mean, you talk about Soviet mind control camp right out of Red Dawn. That's what a mind control camp is, where you torture and freak everybody out until peer pressure makes families break down and tell dad, work for the Soviet in Bulgaria. Go help report out your friends in the hills or they're going to keep raping and killing us. Dad, do it for me. I mean, this is hardcore Soviet style brainwashing. And they do it in public schools everywhere, and you send your kids there to do it. Teachers just two weeks ago filed suit in Missouri and said, we do not want to be forced to take part in four mass shooting drills a year where we march around with our hands up, where we got to put fake blood on us. Folks, there's 165, three, it varies every year. It's in the 160s on average every year since 1992 that there are mass shootings. 160 people killed Every year in some type of mass shooting, almost all of them are gangbangers shooting at each other in schools. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? It's it, honeybees kill over 200 people. I've been harping on that for years. Now Esquire last year did, did a whole article admitting that. You got a better chance of being struck by lightning repeatedly in your lifetime, not in the same day. You have a better chance, look it up, World Almanac, of being struck twice in your life by lightning than by being killed by a terrorist. Folks, it's like finding a unicorn with a Lucky Charms elf riding it. You got a better chance, folks, of finding a chubacabra in your backyard, basically. Almost 400 people die every year from deer jumping out in front of their cars. Or do we have checkpoints to stop the deer everywhere? Game fences? Ladies and gentlemen, you're not going to make it out of this world alive. You're going to die. Alcohol kills 300,000 people a year on average. You're going to stop everybody drinking? Cigarettes, hundreds of thousands. Cars, hundreds of thousands. Mass shootings, 260 with change. Never gone above 270. Never gone above 170. I'm ranting. Let me get to this article. It's just everywhere. They drill now. Like, you know, the army used to drill to fight the Russians in the 70s and 80s. 60s, 70s, 80s. The Air Force drilled to fight foreign aircraft. Uh, the FBI drilled to fight, quote, organized crime and foreign infiltrators. The CIA supposedly, you know, did that. To stop foreign governments coming and, and infiltrating and stealing secrets. Do you know what they do now? Do you know what their main mission announced by Janet Napolitano six years ago is? Do you know what their mission is announced every month? The FBI announced last year. We no longer worry about crime, that's not our main focus, it's domestic extremism. How many domestic extremists did, did, killed people last year? It's less than 10 people on the Southern Poverty Law Center's own website, and they're really scratching for numbers there. 10 people? Oh, but it's like great white sharks, they kill five people every year on average. Highest number ever is 12, recorded. Everyone I know is scared to swim in the ocean, including the Caribbean. Because they think sharks are going to eat them. Almost everyone I know. There is no great white shark in the Caribbean, Dumbo. 
Some of them occasionally come in in the winter into the Gulf of Mexico out of the Atlantic. There are no great white attacks in the Gulf of Mexico. There are none in the Caribbean. There are sperm whales and pilot whales in the Southern Caribbean. I mean, people just, just are scared of everything. It's, it's just everything that isn't scary, everything that isn't a threat. And then I'm scared of a big monolithic government when historically and what our founders said in common sense shows the red level 100% real boogeyman that keeps me up at night. Just got chills. Two, I really do, I get chills, chill bumps. Two hundred and sixty-two million non-military deaths in the 20th century by government. University of Hawaii study. University of Chicago has even higher numbers. They say 300 and something mil. 262 million. 262 million. Not 160 something killed by mass shooters a year. Government killed 262 million. And who is our loving foreign banker occupied? That's not rhetoric. We are literally run by the IMF World Bank. Federal Reserve is their domestic arm. We are literally run by the criminal IRS set up in 1913 to pay money into the private run for profit Federal Reserve. Didn't have an income tax until 1913. Our whole system is designed to be cold and socially engineered and controlled by these people. Nothing else really matters except recognizing the real political system we're under. And then meanwhile, in every Army publication, Army War College, Navy War College, Marine War Fighting School, West Point, Stars and Stripes, Army Times, internal manuals, Homeland Security manuals, that we've broken almost all of them because people send them to us. And then we call the phone numbers involved and check them and read them and look at them. We can look at them instantly. It's always the same crud written by the Southern Poverty Law Center. The Southern Poverty Law Center is basically the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff along with the ADL. And they train and their main mission, Homeland Security and Northcom have said this, is, I'm going to say it again, returning veterans, number one, then veterans, your number two enemy, then libertarians, constitutionalists, conservatives, gun owners, Ron Paul supporters, they literally train the federal government. I mean, I've been at the gun show and seen the ATF, and they will literally look at me and start hyperventilating like I am an enemy soldier or something. Because they literally bat and pitch for the other team. They are sworn. They are in a cult, just like the mafia. It's their duty. I am the enemy. You understand that? You are the enemy. They train 24-7 to take your guns, 24-7 to put you in relocation centers, 24-7 to slap us in the Emergency Centers Establishment Act camps, the Civilian Inmate Labor Camp Program. Everything I'm saying is declassified. All those closed military bases are manned and ready. And all they want to do is set off some nukes or bioweapons, blame it on us, start a civil war that will wipe out the police and military because we won't have a choice when they're trying to take us. I mean, it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to be like... ...20 million hardcore Dorners that have the right on their side and are being hunted and attacked, not that they're going out and attacking people like Dorner did. I mean, you saw almost all of Southern California locked down for one guy and police shaking in fear, shooting up vehicles that didn't even match the description with white women in them. Can you imagine when all the retired special forces and all the military and all the former police and all the gun owners have had their families hunted down and their cousin drug off to a camp. I mean, it is going to be, you're not going to be safe anywhere. And the globalists love that. They know you'll attack us. We will wipe you out. You will be wiped out within a year. Dead. Totally wiped out. It'll be like moose hunting season where you put into a lottery and only one out of four people gets a moose license or, or mountain lion hunting. Where you got to go put in the lottery and a one out of 20 gets to hunt the mountain lion. I mean, you'll be like dodo birds. And I